Hey there, riding buddies. My name is Michael. Welcome to my channel, Mr. Swain. According to Cam Wolf, who I asked what a good video would be to make, he said, best one for my first video is gonna be the AuthorTube newbie tag. That's what we're gonna do. Now I did these a little in different order than what they came out in, uh, just because they kind of came off as like different groups of questions. So I'm gonna answer them in their groups that I saw. First one here is if you were a book, what would be your pitch? Thought about this quite a lot because doing a pitch is pretty difficult in my opinion. Summarizing everything down to like 20 words or less is kind of rough, but I think I got it. Christian husband strives to get his imagination onto bookshelves. Next question is, why did you start writing? For me, I've always loved storytelling, um, whether that be through movies, through just word, like, you know, just speaking words. Um, and also, of course, reading books. Um, but when I actually got into writing was I was trying to create a video game and I decided that the best video games have like good lore, have some sort of like good background going on to them. And I decided to basically create a whole world for it and lore. And then that ended up developing into me writing it all out. And then when I was writing it, I was like, why don't I just write a novel or 14? Next question is, uh, what is your book's pitch? I have a few different books, so I'm gonna choose the one that I like the best as far as the pitch goes. Pitches, again, are kinda, are kinda tough. I'm still getting kinda used to, to summarizing it all and making it uh, you know, interesting. So for my second book, it is, Monk placed on quest with former love interest who is being blackmailed into wrecking his marriage. Next question is, what do you typically write? I typically write high fantasy. That's where most of my stories are gonna be in. Um, although I do have a few romance novels I've written and a lot of my fantasy also revolves around romances. So also romance, definitely gonna be one of mine uh, that I write. What is something that you will never write? I know that I'll never write nonfiction. I find those very boring. I am not very much into reading nonfiction and uh, I definitely will never write one. What is your biggest writing struggle? For me, that is definitely gonna be filler words and filtering words. I have, I didn't really notice obviously when I was writing, but once I started getting my work critiqued by other writers, it was made very apparent how many, how many filler words I have in there uh, and also how much I filtered. Um, so definitely trying to work on cutting that back so that way I don't have that uh, popping up so much. What is your best writing skill? Now, before I got critiqued, I would have said my best writing skill is dialogue. Um, I have had feedback from like scripts I've written before where my dialogue was really good. So I would have said that, but after getting critiqued on my novels, I would actually say, and dialogue filters into this, I would say that my best uh, writing skill is actually character building. What is your publishing path? Right now, I am looking to get traditionally published. All right, so next questions are gonna be about my um, AuthorTube channel here. What is your goal for starting an AuthorTube channel? My main purpose for building this channel is really to help others with their story crafting um, abilities. Uh, I, I do enjoy talking to people about writing and the art of storytelling. So that's my main purpose for doing this. I would also say that a side purpose is that you know, if I can make this into a large enough community to where I could self-publish, great. But my main focus really is to help others along their writing journey. What kind of content will I be bringing to the AuthorTube space? Along with my journey, as far as me being an author, getting published, getting my books out, that kind of stuff, as far as that is gonna be a big part of the channel and just showing that, that progress. Um, the other part of it though, another large part of the channel is really gonna be about me helping others, you know, bring tips that I have, you know, either discovered or learned from other people, bringing those tips and, and sharing them with all you guys. What is your biggest author tube question? My biggest author tube question is definitely gonna be revolving around publishing. I'm very interested in hearing people's stories about going through the traditional publishing path, the um, self-publishing path, or even if someone has done it, the hybrid publishing path. I'm very interested right now because that's kind of where I'm at. I've got, uh, you know, two books loaded up, I'm writing a third. So like, I'm, I'm ready to go on that, on that first one. The second one maybe needs a little bit more work. Um, well, they can always use more, more work, right? But um, I, I'm really, I'm ready to go with those. So I'm trying to get those published and I would love to hear people talk about, you know, 
how they did it, what steps they went through, what challenges that they ran into, how they overcame those. Very interested in hearing about that. Are you looking for any kind of beta readers, critique partners, writing buddies? Uh, and the answer is yes. As far as other channels, I am definitely looking at other channels, you know, kind of like learning what, what they're doing and just kind of, you know, seeing what, uh, what makes good content versus what doesn't. Um, and also just like learning from whatever their actual content is. But I am trying to kind of balance that. I don't want to just become a content consumer uh, while I'm doing all this. Um, want to kind of balance that as far as work and, and uh, relaxation. When it comes to critique partners, I do use a website called um, Critique Circle. Uh, not sponsored, but um, I do like that website. It's a little slow to be honest, but I do like it. Um, when it comes to uh, writing buddies, I'd love to have writing buddies. Uh, and then obviously beta readers. I don't have money for beta readers. I know I can go onto Fiverr or you know Upwork real fast and get some beta readers, but I don't have money for that, unfortunately. So yeah, any anyone who wants to read read uh, you know fantasy right now, love to have some beta readers. All right, last question here is, what are you most excited for in making the YouTube channel? I would say I'm most excited in just jumping into the community, you know, um, for the past few years, I have been a part of the AuthorTube community and just basically watching, um, leaving comments here and there sometimes, but not really doing it like regularly and like actually being part of the community. Um, so I, I definitely am, I definitely am excited to, to kind of jump into that more and you know build a community that is you know focused on writing, enhancing others in their writing process, kind of helping people from you know and if they're in spots where i've been before kind of helping them um you know make that jump to the next to the next stop on the writing journey all right so that wraps it up for my author tube newbie tag again want to thank cam wolf for suggesting doing this video really appreciate that if you're new to author tube or if you haven't done this video in a while consider yourself officially tagged otherwise until the next video happy writing happy reading